So, Jen, there were lots of good news stories on Inauguration Day. The security was good, the capital wasn't attacked, it went off without a hitch, there was great singing. The very best story of all, however, were your mittens <laughs> that took the I world know, by I storm. Believe... <laughs> yeah, me too. I mean, it really took me by storm too. I could never have predicted that that was going to happen. So what's happened for you since, since the mittens went viral? Well, you know, I mean, I literally did nothing different last Wednesday than, than any other day. And then all of a sudden everybody knew who I was. So it did take me a few days to sort of wrap my, my head around that. And so on Thursday, I just got up and went to work. You know, I taught my class. I'm a second grade teacher. And then my report cards were due on Friday. So I just went about living my life trying to figure out what to do. And then over the weekend, I had the idea of like, this is so great. Like people want these mittens and I'm not really in the mitten business anymore, but I can still make them. And so I made some mittens for charity over the weekend. Um, one pair is being auctioned off for Outright Vermont, which is a queer youth organization um, locally where near where I live, near Burlington, Vermont. And another um, pair is being auctioned off for Passion for Paws, which is a dog rescue because I love dogs. And the third is being auctioned off for my daughter's child um, college account, college fund. Well done, you. That's amazing. Tell me, though, about these Sanders-specific mittens. How long has he had them? When did you knit them for him? You know what? I didn't knit them for him, and that is a misconception that I'm hoping to correct. I, I actually take wool sweaters that have been discarded. Either they have a moth hole or they've, they, you know, they've fallen out of fashion or maybe somebody washed them and they shrunk. And I cut them up and I sew them back together. So I piece them back together. Uh. I line them with fleece, which is very soft. And then I use, well, I actually have one right here. I actually use the cuff of the sweater to be the cuff of the mitten. That, so I sort of just I love piece it that. together. I love that. So they're recycled. They're recycled mitts. So Vermont. So yes, Vermont. people call them upcycled, which I think is very fancy, but they're also mitts. so warm. So, so, so I've got this image then. You go off you go off to do your jobs last week, you come back to look at the odd email in your account, and suddenly there's ten thousand emails in there. Is that how is that what happened? <laughs> That is what happened. Yeah. And they started pouring in on Wednesday and people found my email address on Twitter because a similar thing to this happened last year on a much smaller scale when Bernie was wearing the mittens on the campaign trail. So, so yeah, unfortunately my email was out there, although it's not unfortunate because I, I'm going to harness those emails and I'm hoping that something good will come of it because I've started some partnerships with some local Vermont companies um, and they're really exciting things to come. But the thing that happened today is that I've partnered with Darn Tough Socks to do a Bernie sock, like a Bernie's mitten sock. Wow. So that's going to be available. It's going to benefit um, the, the Vermont Food Bank. An and exclusive, Catty. An exclusive. You're, you're, you're an exclusive. Hot news here, breaking news. Also, your email inbox is just going to explode all over again, Jen. So either you are never going to sleep for the rest of your life or you're going to have to give up that day job teaching <laughs> second grade and take up full-time sock and mitten making. No, I am not going to give up my day job because I, I don't want to stop being who I am. But I have, I, I have come to the realization that this is and can be a movement. You know, this was an act of kindness that I did years ago. Um, and I expected nothing in return. And, and what happened is in our, our world's darkest days of the pandemic, Everybody had a chance to it's, laugh about it's something. It's great. Have you heard it from Bernie? So much have you heard from Bernie? I have, yes. He called me on Sunday night um, to give me the awesome news that his fundraiser, which is a sweatshirt that has um, the Bernie picture on it where he's, you know, sitting in the chair, has raised almost $2 million for Meals on Wheels <laughs> here in Vermont, um, which is, touches me personally because my own grandmother got Meals on Wheels. So it's just so awesome.